Well, joining us now is Africa 54 Health correspondent Lino Madu. Now, what do you have for us today, Lino? Observers say innovation is key in meeting many of the health targets in the Sustainable Development Goals uh, if they are to be achieved by 2030. With innovation health challenges such as um, mal malaria and HIV AIDS and the provision of better tools and access to reproductive health can be addressed effectively. The Sayana Press Project is an initiative coordinated by the organization PATH and its partners helping to make injectable contraception available to women in remote locations in sub-Saharan Africa. Now to tell us more, I am joined by Fiona Walugembe here in the studio. She is a Uganda Project Coordinator of Sayana Press Introduction and Evaluation. Ms. Walugembe, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So before we talk about the Sayana projects, can you give us a sense of the challenges for women, uh, especially where you're from, in accesses, accessing uh, reproductive health services? Yes, thank you very much. In Uganda, women do have a challenge of the distances to access family planning products because you find that, for example, a woman lives about 10 kilometers away from the nearest health facility, so she's got that challenge. And at times on getting there, she may not access a form of contraceptive of her choice because it's not available. And at times also their partners may not allow them to, them to use family planning, yet it is their right. Mm. And now you, uh, here you have uh, this project that you are coordinating, the Sayana Press Project. Tell us about that and why it is uh, an innovation uh, in its own right. Yeah, first of all, what is Sayana Press? Sayana Press basically, as you see, it is a new formulation of Depoprovera, which is the traditional injectable contraceptive. The innovation is that the drug DMPA has now been put in this device called the Uniject, which path developed, such that we have an all-in-one device, injectable con contraceptive called Cyanapress. So uh, before this uh, version of uh, uh, DMPA, what was Depo-Provera available, uh, injectable contraceptive? Was it available? Yes, it was available, but at times it would also be stocked out in some places. And to mention, it is still available now. We are giving them both out at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now tell us about uh, the advantages, um, besides the fact that it's two in one, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another advantage, as you can see, is very easy. It's to carry, it is light and it is very easy to administer such that community health workers in Uganda have been trained to administer cyanapress and we are also doing studies on self-injection and in the future it's likely to be self-injected. We are seeing results whereby 98% of the women in this study have been able to inject themselves safely without any effects. Now our mothers, grandmothers, uh did have as many children as nature would allow. Now, why is it important for women to have access to contraceptive? Because we hear a lot about contraception uh, these days. Yes, it is important because family planning is important, first of all, for the health of the women, such that they have time to do other work, and also for the health of the children, whereby the mother is able to give enough attention to the child. And also, economically, it is these days very important looking at the economy, such that a woman is able to do other economic activities and also to plan for the family. So what do you tell women and how do they receive this idea of, of, of controlling or being able to, to control their, their, their children, uh, how many children they have? Yes, we do tell them the benefits of family planning, but definitely it's, it's about choice. We give them the benefits and then they choose whether to use family planning or not. But we've realized that women are very interested in accessing family planning services. What about the husbands? Because in some settings, they have the power, they hold the power to how many children or even to the woman's uh, health, yeah. really. We have a program whereby we do male involvement. We've also educated the, male, the, the husbands to support the women. And most of the men are coming on board. Yes, of course, there are still a few of them who are not in support. But with time, they are coming to appreciate the benefits of family planning. So what kind of impact have you been able to witness for yourself? Because I know it's something that you use yourself, but, but in the community at large. Yeah, in the communities, especially with the introduction of the Sayana Press Project, I've talked of the community health workers. These are ordinary men and women who give services to the women. And because the services have been brought nearer to the people, many of the women have been able to access 
uh, family planning services because the services are nearer to them. Do you find women that are resistant maybe a little bit? About of course, they're not many. You've not found very many resistant women because, as I've explained to you, we do tell them the importance. Mm -hmm. And it's, we do a lot of counseling, and it's about choice. And okay. to mention that we don't only talk about cyanopress, but we talk about all the family planning methods, including the natural family planning methods, and it's about choice. Okay, it's about yeah. choice. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ms. Fiona. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And that's um, Fiona Walugambe. She's a Uganda Project Coordinator for a Sayana Press Introduction and Evaluation with the organization PATH.